বাংলাদেশ কোচ মারিও লেমোস তার সঙ্গে একটা ইন্টারভিউ সময় নেওয়া হয়েছিল তো সেই ইন্টারভিউতে এসে আমি যে দৃশ্যটা দেখেছি সেটা আমাকে খানিকটা চমকে দিয়েছে এবং আমি তার সঙ্গে রাজিও হয়ে গেছি ব্রেকফাস্ট টেবিলে তার সঙ্গে বসতে মারিও লেমোস কেমন আছো জি ভালো ভালো আছেন ভাইয়া শুভ সকাল ব্রেকফাস্টে very good and i like the the mixture with the vegetable the eggs and also the chicken sometimes the spices i like a little bit i'm a little bit different the usual western then i like a little bit spicy food then yeah this this is my favorite breakfast being a football coach would you uh inspire your footballers to have this breakfast <laughs> now maybe not the spicy but i think the egg is protein a little bit carbs vegetable it's a little bit salty but it's not it's not bad not too bad for the, not every day for the players but a little bit let's uh, let's jump into football uh, so you became the national team coach yeah. uh, this is some fairy tale story huh yeah 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 you were here first when uh, in 2018 right 18 yeah yeah you, you back then you were the fitness trainer yeah yeah uh, yep. of bangladesh national team yeah. so how did this happen in only 3 years time you became the national team coach Oh, well, my target really was to become a head coach. Then after I came to the Bangladesh national team as a fitness coach, I, I, you know, football is crazy. I had the opportunity to be a head coach in the first division in Malaysia. And since then, you know, I came direct from there. I came to Abani. I've been the head coach for three years, going to my fourth season. And, and now with the national team, you know, it's, it was, of course, a lot of years previous of this, a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of work, Rifat, a lot of work, a lot of, fighting to 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 get where i want to be a lot of patience and but now i've been here you know i i reached this level i still believe i can reach even higher levels but you know it's, it's always about being hungry keeping and one thing having this job and i think about this i appreciate every day enjoy every day because sometimes you're so into it and you, you i want to enjoy every day i'm here with the national team it's the biggest job in my career I love being here. I, I love doing this job and I want more. I want more. I don't want to stop here. I appreciate, but I, I want to keep being hungry. I think that's how in three years from a fitness coach to a head coach, I think that hunger, that resilience, not giving up. You're too young, Mario. You cannot get there. I said, nah, I can't. And I think that what brought me here and I, I have to keep going this way. Yeah. I guess I guess you're hungry too. You can start your breakfast. See, I, 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 you know, I eat it a little bit different than you uh-huh. guys <laughs> because I make Western, I make a sandwich. Uh-huh. I put the parota, uh-huh. I put the egg, uh-huh. and I put the meat and I eat it like a, a sandwich, <laughs> like a wrap. And that's so, how I, I... So this is your wrap, huh? Yeah, like a wrap. I put okay. it like this. Okay. And I, I dirty my hands, sorry. <laughs> But yeah, this mix, maji, egg, parot, uh-huh. that's how I eat it. <laughs> Mario Lemos, Bangladesh coach, who is in the world, is a very good coach. He 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 is a Uh, in every matches that you have to win oh, yeah. somehow somehow our football team or the system it collapsed uh, in, in let's talk about the SAF championship yeah. uh, Bangladesh they were going into the final until 88th minute yeah. and then a disaster happened Bangladesh got knocked out of the tournament yeah. uh, you were saying in your first press conference after uh, becoming the national team coach that you want the Bangladesh team to uh, reach that level the next level yeah. What is that next level? What do you want to improve? Not, the, not next level is like you said, and it's the same conversation I had four years ago when I was here was the last 10 minutes uh, when, we, when we 
Can we cope with that pressure? I think that the pressure, you cannot replicate it in training game, you know, and in, in playing a soft game. I don't know how many people in the stadium, the noise, it's completely different than training. But what I believe, what I believe in those last moments of games, what I felt with the Bangladesh national team, if you defend too, too deep, you will be always under pressure. You cannot breathe, basically. What I'm telling to the players now is what I want to try to do, to breathe, you must have the ball. And you must push a little bit higher on the pitch, and you must take a little bit more risk. If you start the last 15 or 20 minutes uh, finish too deep, you'll be always under pressure and that's where the mistakes happen and that's where sometimes your legs are gone because you're defending 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 defend it's exhausting and what i think is is some moments of the game we must be higher in the pitch we must be a little bit more brave we must take that risk because if we just defend 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 it will happen it's impossible they're they're human beings and then even top level teams in europe it happens and can we be brave enough to say, no, 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 let's let's go higher in the pitch. You know what, let's right, let's put pressure. Because if we put pressure on that ball, that ball will not go long then. It's not easy. It's not, and when you're winning and you need a, a, a result, you know, players usually tend to, to go back. But that's where I need to intervene. That's where I need my voice. I cannot lose my voice. I need my voice and I need to be, I feel in those moments in the game, I need to be also in my best uh shape possible i must be screaming i must be pushing i must be doing anything i can in that box to to make these boys go up and and, and give them that extra energy they need then i need also to be in my top 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 best top, top best now i'm not in my top best <laughs> <laughs> struggling with your voice struggle, struggling with my voice. yeah so uh, a lot of players uh, they were saying that you're the most gentleman coach mm they have uh, ever worked under mm. in Bangladesh. Mm. Why do they say that? You are screaming, screaming, screaming. Yeah. But how come you are at the same time the most gentleman in Bangladesh? I don't know. It's <laughs> a good question. You know, I be honestly, I'm 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 the same in the foot in, in the pitch, outside the pit. I like to treat everybody with respect. I cannot make everybody happy, Rifat. It's impossible. Not even now we have 24 players and then everybody wants to play. And I want, only can pick 11, I'll pick the best. But what I try to be is the, the most honest I can be, the most humble, I'm a, you know, humble. But also, what I told the players, and you told me about this nice guy. I'm a nice guy, but I want to win. I want to win. And if it's not good enough, I will tell them also. And I will scream, that's why I don't have the voice. I don't believe you can be, even to the players, we're going to Sri Lanka, and I said this yesterday, if you're not nice boy, you cannot be nice boys in football. When you're in the pitch, you must be, I don't want to use the word, <laughs> monsters, animals, but you, you must that. When, when I go in the pitch, when I go training, also I change a little bit. I don't scream like this when I go to the restaurant. I don't scream to the, but, but in the pitch, because you, you must have that, that, that desire to, to get better. And I, I must keep the standards. If I go in the pitch and I'm, oh, coach is not saying that, then they, they will not work hard. But yeah, but I try to be Mario Lemos and, and you know be myself and try to get good relationship with the people. Because at the end of the day, you know, if the, the player enjoys to play for the coach and likes the coach, like any job in the world, they will do more. Let, let's yeah. just talk about uh, your 23-man squad. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of promising footballers. Yeah. At the same time, you are missing a lot of regular footballers, yeah. the likes of Tariq Kazi. Biplu, yeah. Bishonat, uh, and Sohel Rana, of course. Yeah. So, what do you think uh, in uh, Four Nation Cup in Sri Lanka? Uh, what type of squad do you have? Is it uh, is it a squad that making progress, uh, or is it a squad that already uh, uh, they are not? Uh, you're not happy with the squad, or something like that? No, I'm, I'm happy with the squad. I'm happy with the squad. Of course, one thing I told the players: why, why? First of all, we cannot hide. We, we go there. We try to do something. Try to win. Get to the final. Also, it's always opportunity, same as me. You know, this is opportunity. You know, I... I um, Will you tell them their, your own story? Yeah, yeah, it's my own story. I think my own story for them. That's why I, I sometimes I get a little bit angry when they tell me, oh, the, the Bangladesh player is, is lazy, the Bangladesh player is not professional. Everywhere in the world, you have lazy people and you have hard workers. It's not, it's not, there's no difference between me, my passport and your, it's not. 
It's not. And that's what I want to tell them. And I try to tell them every day. I was a fitness coach four years ago. If you told someone I'll be the head coach, they don't believe. But I believed. Because I thought, I, I thought, I thought, no, I thought I had something. I thought I was ready. I thought I had something different. And I thought I just needed a chance. And the moment I had got the chance, there's no coming back. There's no coming Same as the players. I've been with these players, same players, Topu, um, Jamal, Fad, all these guys. I saw them four years ago. When I, they just, you know, they, they have it, but they got to really grab it. Then I think we lost a couple players, like you said, but it's opportunity for other ones. What gives me confidence is the ones that here, they want to be here. That's very important, wants to be here. Because I, I was never a top, top player, never played with national team, but when you play for your country, it's the biggest achievement. I feel it, I'm not Bangla, I'm not for, but for me, I coach Abani, I coach first division, but it's different, special to represent a country when I wear it, no, but for me is it's, it's, it's having this in my, my chest is, is different than, I feel it, they must feel it also, and, and because they, they, they do, feel, yeah, they feel it for sure. Then we have some changes, it's opportunity for other players, you know, and yeah, and, and I'm happy with the squad. And, and what will be what will be your initial target in the next tournament? I think anyway, I, I always prepare every game to win. I cannot prepare a game not to win. I don't know how to. If you tell me, coach, you you try to not to lose by a lot or or to draw. How can you play for to draw? You know what? You score one, you know. Then we play every game to win. Every game to win to try to win different strategies because it's different teams but every game to win and try to reach the final i don't like to talk about the final because if i tell the players the final we don't think about seychelles maldives sri lanka the success i had in the afc cup was i have um, always took game by game i remember losing points in uh, chennai and everybody coach is finished it's called it's just three points we move on to the next one then the same thing with Seychelles. Today the message from now to Seychelles. Seychelles, Seychelles, Seychelles. Nothing else. Seychelles. How can we win Seychelles? What do they do good? What we have to do? And how can we beat them? And three points, not six, nine. Three points. Three points. Three points. And of course. And then next, think about the next match. Then next step. I'm not even thinking about Maldives. Of course I have an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Seychelles. Only Seychelles. Only Seychelles. Uh, I guess you need your coffee. Distracting the voice, huh? Sorry. <laughs> uh, too much. <laughs>